Folks, so I wake up today. I'm in a haze. I, you know, I've been having like some, some very interesting sleeping experiences lately. So I wake up, um, and so I check my phone and, uh, you know, this is like the first thing I saw. <laughs> so upon now, again, just checking my phone. This is the first thing I see. Um, Vladimir Putin appears to threaten nuclear strikes if West launches, uh, reprisal attacks. So that was the first thing I see. Um, I'm unaware at this point upon waking up that, uh, the full-scale invasion of Ukraine has occurred. Um, and so this is the first thing I see. Uh, so I want to, uh, I want to read this, um, because, uh, this is pretty scary. Um, so again... Uh, I'm not an expert in the field of foreign policy. I'm not an expert uh, at all, but I can assure you, uh, nuclear weapons, no good. Um, I can also assure you, Vladimir Putin, no good. Uh, if someone is going to try to tell you that Vladimir Putin is secretly a good guy, um, they're probably very dumb and they're being paid by Russia. Uh, again, you see a lot of these so-called American leftists uh, going on RT, and lo and behold, they are all peddling propaganda, saying that Putin is is a hero and he's saving the Ukrainian people. Um, and uh, it's it's again anyone who's going to threaten to use nuclear weapons, I'm sorry, do not pass go, do not collect two hundred dollars. Um, Vladimir Putin appeared to threaten nuclear strikes if any country tried to attack Russia in retaliation for the invasion of Ukraine. In a chilling warning, the Russian president said the consequences of any attempt to strike back would provoke a response never seen in history. Mr. Putin stopped short of directly saying he would deploy nuclear weapons if the Russian army was attacked by forces other than those of Ukraine. But analysts, analysts believe the threat was implicate, or implicit in his address to the Russian nation broadcast live on television at 5.45 a.m. Moscow time. Mr. Putin said, whoever tries to impede us, let alone create threats for our country and its people, must know that Russian, that the Russian response will be immediate and lead to the consequences you have never seen in history. Um, again, not good. Um, not good. <laughs> like, so, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Now, whether or not you want to take away from this that NATO and the U.S. and, and that China or India or whatever... Uh, don't, you know, they should just back off and, uh, let Putin kill everyone in Ukraine, uh, versus, oh, well, we should go, you know, I, I'm not here to tell you what I want to have happen here. I'm just, I am taking the position of just reading the news, um, and digesting it, but, um, it is not great. Um, it is just, it's not like, I don't know, like, a, one of the superpowers of the world, uh, saying, yo, I'm going to destroy the planet if you fuck with me. Just saying, not good. Uh, all relevant decisions have been taken. I hope you hear me. Uh, in a stark reminder of Russia's nuclear power, he warned that no one should have any doubts that a direct attack on our country will lead to the destruction and horrible consequences for any potential aggressor. The address amounted to a declaration of war on Ukraine, with the aerial bombardment and invasion following shortly afterward. Um, and I'm going to get into that in a second here. Russia's assault on Ukraine will spark a series of reprisals from international community that include economic sanctions, but it is likely to stop short of risking a wider conflict. In Washington, Joe Biden warned that the U.S. and its allies would respond in a united and decisive way as the United Nations uh, at the. Yeah. So anyway, um, I'm going to get more into that part later. Uh, but again, uh, economic sanctions. OK, so uh, I heard earlier that the Russian stock market not doing so good. Um, you know, so economic sanctions are a good thing, right? I guess, like, you know, sanction the government, sanction the banks, don't sanction the people. I'm sure the people of Russia don't care about, I'm sure like, you know, there's the, the group of people, the, you know, 25% of the population that's probably crazy and far right neo-Nazis like we have in the U.S. Um, but again, most people are probably just trying to live their fucking lives, uh, most people do not want to be, you know, involved in this war at all. Um, and that is why sanctions, economic sanctions are very important to get right. To my understanding, the sanctions are mostly directed at the banks, um, at Russian oligarchs and Russian uh, state finance. Uh, I know that the 
Nord Stream pipeline was was axed, which is a good thing. I would say cut off Russia, economically speaking, cut off Russia from everywhere else in the world. Uh, I think that that's a pretty good strategy. I don't, honestly, um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's scary. Like, I don't know. Like, I, anyone who doesn't think that this is scary to me, I think, is, is coping. Um, I think, uh, you know, whether or not you think Putin would actually destroy the planet... I mean, let's be honest. All right, okay, let's let's classify this. Let's let's figure this out. Putin has two options: kill everyone on Earth, right, including most likely himself, or get destroyed by like you know the rest of the world in a non-nuclear military battle. Like either way, he loses, right? So if he views this as a position, right, what it boils down to is if Putin feels like he's losing a war of some kind, if he feels like He's going to actually face any sort of punishment for his actions. Why not kill everyone else on the planet? Why not? Right? Like, that's the thing. Right? Like, okay. Right? So, he wants to use nuke as, nukes as a deterrent. Um. Okay. But again, like, so, okay. Wh what is the deterrent? If someone, if NATO decides to strike and invade Russia or assassinate Putin or something... Well, if he's going to be killed in a war, why would he not, just for the sake of spite, use his uh, weapons um, to destroy the rest of the planet? I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, if I were a genocidal freak, uh, you know, I, I, if I'm going to die either way, <laughs> like, if I'm going to die either way, I'm just saying. Um, so, I don't know. Um, I also don't know enough about the whole ordeal to say whether or not this stops at Ukraine, right? Like, okay, Putin's going to invade, take over Ukraine, and then we're just going to go back to business as normal? Ever, like, you know, I, I don't really know what exactly um, that that would be like. But again, I would, I waking up today and seeing uh, a superpowers leader threaten nuclear annihilation not so good. Um, not so good. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not here. I'm not an expert. I'm not going to tell you, oh yes, do this, do that. I, Cause also again, I know my place where I'm at. I'm some stupid ass YouTuber. I am not like fucking in the goddamn secretary of defenses at, you know, whatever. I like, whatever I say is irrelevant. Like things are, the things that are going to happen are going to happen. So my, like, you know, pretend I'm going to play, like, a real-time strategy game, like, I, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, so as far as I'm concerned, uh, not good, very scary. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I have to say on that.